she only went and dyed her hair. Only be here for you. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Welcome to the randomest vlog I've made thus far on this YouTube channel. It's basically going to take you through a week in the life, some food, some hair dyeing. Really hope you enjoy this unorganised video. If so, please smash the thumbs up button. The last time you saw me on YouTube would have been me devouring vegan junk foods. Obviously, I love my food, I love my donuts, but it's not to say that I eat these foods every single day. However, the next day I was invited to Gabby Allen's Sports FX launch and there were actually walls full of donuts, so who am I to say no to that? But let's not get things twisted, I do love a basic Nando's, I mean I don't really know who doesn't, or like a chicken katsu curry from Wagamama's. Again, it's not to say that I eat out every single day, but I'm going to stop this voice over and just take you back to some actual footage from the week. Steve got some veg there, got some peas that is also going in there, and then some egg fried rice. Let's call this games. <laughs> Beef and a black bean sauce and a mountain of egg fried rice with peas. Something electric. I just want to show the people my hair size. I've also got glitter in my hair. Does that mean I've made it then, if I'm on national TV? It's funny, I've, I've been seeing myself on the Channel 4 advert. Can I say professional dancer now? <laughs> Got a poke bowl of absolute dreams, because I'm obsessed. This is from Ahi Poke, literally just got everything. I'm trying not to look into this phone screen and actually look at the camera. Oh wow. It's about to devour this. Yes. Guys, I actually found a matcha donut. You know, I've been telling you about this obsession I have with matcha. I found a donut. I can't find a matcha latte in London, but yeah, I found a donut. Can we appreciate? That donut was absolutely delicious and yes, I definitely just took my clothes off on the street and got a few snaps for the gram because guys, content does not make itself. Okay, literally just had to vlog in <laughs> the cutest brunch place I've ever been to. And I've been to many brunch places as you know. And if you don't know, that means you haven't watched my London brunch YouTube video. Let me just show you around real quick, okay? So we have flowers across the ceiling. Let me just show you the cakes. You, you get the vibe, you get the vibe. It's cute, it's so cute. Just come here to track down a matcha because that's what I seem to do like with my life these days. <laughs> Finally have tracked down matcha latte. That's a cat by the way. And that's a bear. Oh my god guys look. It's a vibe. Again, I wasn't gonna vlog, but this place is just so cute. I just had to show you quickly the food and the place. Like, it's magical. 
the place to call Hush and ordered sashimi for starter and then some fish which is very unlike me but I thought I'd try something different out. Oh yeah and this place is in Lancashire Court. I'm not even going to bother trying to use chopsticks because I don't know how to use them so I'm just going in for the pork. There's wasabi on that. Just gonna fold that over. Oh my god. I'm just going to tell you right now this place is a 10 out of 10. Without that's it. I mean, it's dripping in oil, but that's amazing. So, this is sashimi and there's like wasabi wasabi paste inside it literally just melts in your mouth I want a refund at the same time because it's like it just disappears but it's amazing so fillet heat which is very unlike me but I wanted to try it oh and there's spinach underneath it's gonna be like fully drip on me if anyone is around Lancashire Court, come here. That's it. End it. Yep, this is me eating a panini on my way home from just having had dinner. <laughs> I'm a joke. I'm literally a joke. Okay guys, you know because I'm a vlogger, I just need to document this moment. This is the peanut butter that comes with it. And this is the marshmallow fluff that also goes in between these glorious Reese's Pieces peanut butter nutty creation of dreams. A couple of weeks ago, Cakebox reached out to me and asked me what would my ideal cookie be. Of course, me being me, I said I'd love a cookie sandwich, so I want two cookies, I want peanut butter in between, I want marshmallow fluff in between, I want Reese's Pieces, I want Snickers, I want peanut butter, I want chocolate, I want white chocolate chips. So yeah, not asking for much. <laughs> they fully delivered. They even got the chocolate to the tea. I asked for the chocolate peanut caramel milker because it's got like cute little peanuts on top and they delivered. So I'm about to assemble this beast of a cookie which I literally just had in my head. I didn't realize they were gonna actually go and like literally make the thing for me so shout out to them. Thank you so much for sending me this. I cannot wait. It smells delightful. And guys, if you wondered if I just chill in sports bras, I don't. I just <laughs> had to take a photo for the gram. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, wow. This is the top layer. As you can see, it has white chocolate sauce, Snickers, the Milka chocolate caramel that I absolutely love. It's also got chocolate inside the cookie. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. <laughs> The fudge layer has, again, the chocolate piece on top, the Reese's Pieces, peanut butter, cups, and white chocolate in between the, cho the cookie base. Plan of action now is to assemble this. I would do that, but that's quite thick, so I'm literally gonna do it like that. They made homemade peanut butter. Oh, look at that. Oh, smells so nutty. <laughs> And then we have marshmallow fluff, because I absolutely love fluff and nutters, which is like marshmallow fluff and peanut butter. And so we assemble this all together. We've got another tub as well of marshmallow fluff. Oh my God, <laughs> how do I do it? Peanut butter. That Reese's Pieces is falling. Oh my. I'm excited, my mouth is watery. Okay, so that's a very decent amount of peanut butter. Very decent amount. The marshmallow fluff. Oh my God, it has peanut butter inside. It has peanut butter inside the fluff. Then we put that all over. Woo! Like that. And then this goes on top. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, I'm going in. 
This is the best sandwich I've ever eaten. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. This is amazing. And you can see like all the cookie dough and the marshmallow and the peanut butter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, I'm content. This is absolutely filthy. And guys, I should probably mention that yes, the marshmallow fluff has peanut butter inside. This peanut butter is extremely nutty. And I've just discovered upon taking another bite, we have Reese's peanut butter cups inside. I'm about to cut this in half and actually see the full cross section. So that is a cross section. Let's just all die happy now, shall we? <laughs> so I'm literally just walking in now from having had my birthday lunch. <laughs> I have about an hour until my birthday dinner. Obviously have to get some steak in. And in the meantime, how long do I have an hour? You know them ones where you're just too impatient to even take your shoes off, take your hat off, take your jacket off. I'm about to dive into a cookie. <laughs> Ooh wee <laughs> look at that. I can't even explain how good this is. It's so good. Obviously you got messages saying You ain't gonna eat that. Oh well, what do you think I'm gonna do? Stare at it. <laughs> it's even more exquisite now. This is what we've got left. Ugh. Insane. I dropped Teresa's pieces. Mwah. Look at that cross section. This is like a quarter of it. As you can tell, I'm in a very happy place and I just felt to document this, this momentous nutty moment. <laughs> From here it kind of looks untouched, but then you realize this is only a quarter left. The last bit of heaven. And the marshmallow fluff is so nice. Thank you, cake box. <laughs> so I've just posted this on my Instagram. What am I about to do? And so far, 56% say get a tattoo and 44% say change my hair. I'm currently on my way to get my hair done. I'm gonna get it cut, not very short, let's not go overboard. I'm just gonna get a bit of a trim and then I'm gonna do like a bit of a balayage. I think it's a balayage. Dye the ends a little bit. Kind of wanted an ashy silvery vibe, but apparently it can't always happen that way just because my hair's really dark. So it might have to happen in stages. So I'm just gonna go in there. <laughs> see what happens, see how my hair takes to the dye. So it could come out with ginger hair, blonde hair, silver hair. <laughs> Who knows, life is a mystery. We live life on the edge. Let's just say goodbye to my hair right now. <laughs> By the way, Hannah is taking care of my, my hair. <laughs> do you have an Instagram and um, like- I do. I'll, I'll plug you in. Well, when did you last cut it? What, what? <laughs> Um, like maybe once every year. <laughs> Guys, you'll never guess what. I've just found a silver hair. Where is it? Oh my god, can they see that? That's long! <laughs> I'm getting old! Well, actually, if the rest of my hair is like ashy, then it's gonna blend in fabulously. Might need an, an extra toning. I have no idea what colour my hair is right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around. I think I think maybe I, I will need toner. Well we'll, we'll yeah, see. So we'll while see. It's wet, it will look a little bit more on the orangey side. Yeah yeah. Is it as high on the sides? Or is it <laughs> That's currently what it's looking like. Okay. I can't fully see it. I feel like I won't be able to tell until I like fully see what's going on. Oh my it's god, it's gonna be hard. I did see the front a little bit, um, some bits a little bit higher and some bits a little bit lower. 
Guys, update, five hours in. I can't yet see what color my hair is because it's wet, but we're nearly there. Tone has been added. Now I'm just getting it cut. Stay tuned. So cute. I'm tall-ish and my hair is pretty long. <laughs> and Hannah's pretty short. <laughs> so I'm having to stand up. You're gonna wake up tomorrow looking at me and be like, what did I do? <laughs> what have I gone and done, guys? Moment of truth. Oh my god, god, I can't believe my hair is. I can't believe how blonde my hair is. <laughs> to be fair, it will like grow up down anyway. 100%. Because basically, I was gonna get it like the um, balayage or the ombre yeah, lower so down. Yeah. <laughs> Do I turn? turn this way. Thanks so much. As I said, it's meant to be lower. It wasn't meant to start so high. Really, I, I wanted it to like be down there. Oh, <laughs> it is very, top. I know. I said I wanted it low. It is pretty high. She got carried away. She did get a little bit carried away. It's very just, pretty. obviously very it's nice. just a lot more dyed than what I wanted. I need to like look in the mirror at home because obviously just got it done and then kind of ran out. So, but yeah. We're living life on the edge, I thought, why not? There's no point, you know, losing sleep over it. <laughs> if you want to do something, go get it done. That's my advice for the day. As I said, I was actually planning on darker and then lighter towards the bottom. It's like, I don't actually know what colour this is. I kind of liked silvery, ashy, and yeah, I just kept some of like my natural colour through it because I didn't want it just like one block new colour. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some food. Guys, we're back. Part two, Hannah providing us with chocolate milker. I can use this as a transition thing, so um, <laughs> she's gonna just dry it out. So let's see. This is good. Doesn't wanna focus, but here you go. Guys, I realized I couldn't do the transition because obviously um, I ate the thing, <laughs> so I couldn't transition. Let's just pretend that was the thing, so we can go like that. I don't even know what color this is. Yeah, the pink we're gonna get rid of. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh my God, it's blonde with pink undertones. By the way, all this talk about the different colors in my hair, can we just for one minute appreciate the colors going on on this table? I think that's beetroot falafel, cauliflower, balls, and then sweet corn, sun-dried tomatoes, salad, olives, crisps. We've got garlic and tomato flatbread, chicken. Well, it's 10.40 and I'm about to have lunch, so I have no rules. There is not only salad cream going in this, there's balsamic vinegar, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, and Frank's hot sauce going into this. That's basically a tin of tuna, onion, cucumber, sweet corn, lettuce, gherkins, peppers. This gets mixed up and goes all into the bread. And trust me, it is exquisite. This is one of my go-to, like when I have no time, I just make this. John West really needs to hurry up and sponsor me because Loki tuna is expensive. We're making progress though. That's a follow as well as a repost and a DM. By the way, if you think I'm a nutter for eating this at 10.30 a.m., I ate rice, beef, and falafels at 9.30 a.m. So yeah, I think you get the gist. I don't have rules. I just eat when I'm hungry. A crucial point to note is that you have to keep applying the sauces with every bite. Oh my god, so I literally just got a parcel come from Japan. Thank you so much Hikari Kohima, I really hope I'm saying your name correctly. Thank you so much for sending me this all the way from Japan, you absolute hero. What have we got? Yay, we have some matcha powder. For anyone that is completely perplexed at this point, but basically I went on the craziest hunt looking for matcha powder. Thank you so much. I don't know what the difference is right now. Oh, matcha milk. I mean, at this point, I'm completely confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing, but all I know is I love the taste of matcha, so. Matcha, oh my God. Oh my god, you got me matcha mochis! 
<laughs> Matcha cream dye fuku. <laughs> Interesting name. I am so excited. Thank God for your labels because I would just be looking at this being like, yeah. So excited. I also tried a matcha mochi. It was incredible. So I'm guessing the matcha mochis from Japan are going to be absolutely insane. Also, pure matcha. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I literally just had a conversation on WhatsApp about matcha Kit Kats. I've been meaning to try these out. Thank you so much. I'm legit so hyped. <laughs> I mean, you can probably tell. Oh my god, the box that just keeps on giving. Matcha Max. Shall I like taste test these all in a video? Oh my god, I think these are almonds covered in matcha. And this is so cute. I have so much time for the little things in life. Um, <laughs> each thing I pick up, I'm like, ah, uh, flush green tea. Is it green tea? I mean, here I read that it's green tea, and then I turn it over, and then I basically see these kind of chocolate things. <laughs> I really don't know what they are. I love trying new things out. I definitely think that this in a video could be a lot of fun. Are you legend? A bamboo whisk for the matcha latte. Literally Christmas has come early. From Hikari. Which do I open first? Dear Stephanie, hi, I'm Hikari. I live in Tokyo, Japan. I'm a big fan of yours. Your smile always makes my day. Stephanie, you're one of the most honest person I know and also so sweet. <laughs> I know there will always be someone who criticizes you, but it is what it is. That's so true, my friend. They can never touch your heart or soul. Please stay as you are. You're a beautiful person with a free spirit. When I feel like giving up, your smile always gives me power to keep up. And I truly thank you for that. Stay nutty and stay gold. I'll be always hoping the best for you. Lots of love. Hikari. P.S. Se hablar español también, te amo. Thank you so much. I'm not going to turn the camera around because I'm getting emotional. But thank you so much. I honestly, from the bottom of my... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And I really wish you all the best. What else have you given me? Why are you spoiling me? <laughs> so cute. It's your lucky unicorn. Stephanie. Oh, it's in Spanish. Stephanie, feliz cumpleaños. Deseo que lo pases super bien en este día muy, muy especial. Eres lindísima afuera y adentro. Siempre seré tu fan número uno en Tokio. <laughs> que tengas muchas cosas buenas durante muchos años que venir. Con mucho amor, Hikari. <laughs> En serio, muchísimas gracias. Oh my god, this looks insane. Look at that dark. And then truffle polenta. Damn, son. And then look at that burger that I'm gonna just, you know, try out. Just gotta test it. Got to test it. Okay, the extended birthday celebrations continue. It's a birthday week. It's a birthday week. I'm gonna go in with some dark. To conclude, the food at the Avery is 12 out of 10. Doc, 10 out of 10. Burger, 6.5 out of 10. Ambiance, 12 out of 10. The chips and the mayo. Mm. Oh, and the polenta truffle, insane. <laughs> Bubbles? 10 out of 10. <laughs> Guys, I set the alarm off. <laughs> My content's just too fire. <laughs> the lunch, incredible. Just got the dessert menu and I'm about to do something a little bit controversial. This is something I wouldn't normally order. There's something else on this menu that I would go for, like normally. However, I've decided to opt for a roast plum almond crumble with almond cream. I'll let you know how it tastes in a YouTube second. Oh my god, it smells. It looks like a crumbly mess. <laughs> Oh, the ice cream just slipped. It smells so good. 
The almond ice cream I haven't tried yet. Okay. Going in. It was insane by the way. This is why I decided to film this video. Because these are the the uncut. This is like uncut footage that I wouldn't normally film. Like this isn't a vlog. This is just me going about life, taking out the camera, and I'm just showing you the food. It's insane though. It's insane. Okay, maybe we stop filming now. It just works. <laughs> this is the last spoon of heaven. <laughs> My colleagues would definitely be able to see that I'm in here. How cute is this? But that's my office, right there. Instead I'm here, <laughs> celebrating life. Guys, how cute is this? I'm in an igloo and they've just brought me this. I need to make a wish. That's vibey. <laughs> Don't know what this is. Oh, it's like soft. I'm gonna dunk it in some chocolate. I'm dunking it in caramel. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what this is, but. Mmm. This is amazing. Hell yeah, I'm about to dip my finger right in this plate. Only issue is, it's really Moorish. That was cute. Plus, I didn't even ask for it. They just brought it in because they knew it was my birthday week. Yeah, there's decent views. It just came to my attention that I've never ended a YouTube video sat in an igloo in London. And so I'm going to end this video here. I know it's been completely disjointed, but I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes, you know, like week in the life of Nighty Foodie Fitness. Basically vlogging things that I wouldn't normally vlog, like it would literally just go on my story. Really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please smash the thumbs up button. I really hope I'm not getting copyright because there is also music in this igloo. I'm going to sip on my champagne and I will catch you guys in another video. Oh. And stay nighty, my friends. Okay, remember it's this uh, uh, hand, yeah? Remember it's this hand, yeah? Because then I'm going to go... Oh. Mm. I've got plum in my mouth. I forgot to click. Let's pretend I didn't try the dessert. Was it this hand? Oh, it's a plum crumble that I've already eaten. Stay hydrated, but please drink responsibly. <laughs>